Sergeant D. Griffiths, Vehicular Crimes Division. Right now we're working a fatal crash on I-10, excuse me, 610. Vehicle was heading westbound at a high rate of speed, ended up striking the guardrail and flipping. Passenger ended up being ejected and has been pronounced on scene. What happened with the driver? Well, the driver has been transported to the hospital. Right now, we are in the preliminary stint, um, investigation for possible DWI. And if he or she is found to be intoxicated, what will they face? Generally, depending on a DA, it's going to be more than likely intox manslaughter charges. At this time, I can't really tell. Um, the car did flip several times. Generally, a person is not wearing a seatbelt, but there's been times that someone's been ejected depending on their weight, even if they've had a seatbelt on. So I can't make that conclusion at this time. Is the victim a male or female? The victim is a male, uh, both between 35 to 40 years old, driver and uh, passenger. Passengers in the vehicle or no other vehicles? Involved? No other passenger, just one driver, one passenger. Uh, passenger is deceased at this time. No other vehicle. One car struck the barrier, flipped, and that's what we have so far. Do you suspect alcohol and nothing is involved? Possibly. Um, there was an odor of alcohol. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it's actually. Due to consumption, I don't want to make, I don't want to, I don't want to jump to conclusions. But there was an odor of alcohol. Um, the DRE is going to check and make sure that the person is either they're intoxicated or they're not. But I don't want to say that the person is intoxicated and they aren't. But there was a smell of alcohol. It does look like the driver is going to survive. Correct. It looks like the driver is going to survive. Um, so. Right now, they're being tested at the hospital. Right, thanks, Sergeant. Okay.